Hey everybody, it's Sam here with Tucson Euphoria and I'm going to share with you guys some of my Las Vegas treats that I grab when I'm vacation. Um, I'm going to start with this because it's the most disappointing. I forgot that this was in the bag and it's expired now. I'm making a sad face. But um, this was a cinnamon roll with raisins and it smells so amazing. Like You can still smell it through the bag. I'm just devastated but anyways this was part of the um display with a bunch of different treats and snacks that i had never seen this i'm super pumped about it's a jolly rancher crayon and it's mango flavored i mean how can you go wrong with a mango jolly rancher that sounds absolutely amazing these are lime flavored sandwich cookies i am so pumped about these i have no idea why i didn't buy more i love lime key lime lime that's my cup of tea right there. And um, these look like they're going to be simply amazing. I purchased the spicy picante um, peanuts, which I'm assuming they're probably just going to taste a little bit like just regular hot nuts. But I hope they have a slightly different flair or taste. Okay, these I cannot wait to try with some guacamole. I've tried the traditional, regular, whatever they are, like the spicy or the spicy and lime, but I've never seen the guacamole ones, so I cannot wait to try out these Takis. That's what the man told me they were called. I hope that's the right name, because Lord knows I will tear a name up in a heartbeat. Hi, Chews! If you know anything about high chews, you know that they are absolutely phenomenal. They're like Starburst, but better. I don't know what the name of this fruit is. Um, here's a picture of it. it looks almost kind of like a grapeish type fruit, but um, I had to get it. I mean, it doesn't even matter because it's a different flavor. I've never seen the pineapple high chews either which are probably absolutely amazing. And I got something simple for the mister, just green apple. My little cousin, every time she would come back home to visit us, or wasn't home for her, but just to visit, she would always bring us these um, Mexican candies. And I was excited when I saw this because I don't really remember if I liked it. Well, actually, the one that I tried, I remember I did not like. But I wanted to try something a little bit different to see if now that I'm a little bit older, if my taste buds have changed and I can maybe enjoy these. And it was a good price. It's two for a dollar, so how could you resist? When I purchased these um, in the middle of March, I had not seen these back at home yet. But these are the Strawberry Nut M&Ms, which I have seen now at Walgreens. So if you're interested in those, you can grab them here. I have these Boulder Canyon chips, which I absolutely love. They sell these at uh, Sam's Club, and I've never seen them just sea salt cooked in coconut oil, so I'm really looking forward to trying these. This is, um, what does that say? El Sabarso. I can't see with the light, but these are um, Blazing Hot Cheese Crunchies, so AKA Cheetos. I think they may have a little bit of a different flavor um, as many of the things do that are the Mexican inspired or Mexican um, made snacks. They normally taste similar to what you're used to, but just a slightly different flavor or bite, which is pretty cool. I have these Salsa Verde Doritos, which are simply amazing. My girlfriend, shout out to Rita. Hey, girl. She sent me um, some of these when she sent me snacks from California about two years ago. And I absolutely love these. And I'm looking forward to enjoying those. This is only like the best popcorn ever. This uh, location is uh, Excalibur. Excalibur is who has the Popcornopolis, and I absolutely have to go there every time I'm in Vegas. They also sell popcorn online, but it's so awesome when you're in the store because you get to try all of the different items, and you can sample as many different kinds of popcorn as you would like to see what you're going to get. These Better Made Special Chips, we had to grab these because these are from um, the Mister's hometown, Detroit, so I can't wait to try these and see um, what all the hype is about because he said that they're pretty good. Then I made it to the Hershey store and I'm so disappointed. I've had this stuff for over a month now and I did not post it. And now it's everywhere all over Facebook and everybody's tagging me. And I'm like, I have it already. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a procrastinator. But anyways, um, I got the strawberry 
Kit Kats, which are the flavor for California. I got the Payday. Hey. And my boyfriend was like, that sounds absolutely disgusting, but I cannot wait to try this. This is the flavor of Texas. It's um, a barbecue payday. I mean, like, I'm thinking savory and sweet. Like, how can you go wrong with that? I got the cherry cheesecake, which is going to be, of course, the one and only New York, New York cheesecake. I bought a couple of these because I feel like this is going to be a real winner. I purchased the key lime filled Twizzlers. Woo -woo. Yes, I cannot wait to try these. And I was so crushed because when I went back, the orange creamsicle ones, I think that's what they were. They were orange creamsicle were all sold out. And I mean, you guys, it was so many of them on display. I wasn't even really worried about it. I didn't feel like carrying anything um, the day when I saw them originally. And I was like, uh, I'll just grab them on the way back. Uh, negative. The next day I went, they were gone. Couldn't believe it. But anyways, and there's just a few more of the same candy bars and treats that I bought. But I hope you guys enjoy. Just a quick uh, recap of a few treats and snacks and stuff that I bought back with me. A lot of stuff has been eaten and I ate so much in Vegas. I felt like I was going to fall over. So I'll be posting those videos and um, pictures soon. You guys have a great evening and remember life is too short to eat mediocre food.